All right, I'll just wait for you right here. I guess you could say we can get away with pretty much anything in this department. Mark, you got your handcuffs out? Down, all the way down, all the way down. Yo, are you coming? So where you at? So you want me to wait for you around the corner? All right, I'll just wait for you right here. Just hurry up. So tell me, Mark, how's your first couple weeks been with us down here so far? Pretty good. I can't complain. And I bet you're liking the weather here better than in New York, right? Oh, yeah. The climate here is so much better. Though today is a little bit nippy. How's the department? Any major differences? Yeah, actually. You guys here seem so much more relaxed uh, and not as regulated as my old department is. Huh, that's interesting. Yeah, I was always dealing with internal affairs. You guys never seem to have to deal with that. Oh well, no, internal affairs here, just it's a non-issue. I guess you could say we can get away with pretty much anything in this department. Lucky you. 42792, come in. 42792, come in. 42792. We received a loitering complaint at the Mango Park Distribution Center. The suspect is African American, medium sized built. Are you close by? Yes, we are, but could just wait a few minutes? Me and Sergeant Lubowski are on lunch break right now. Come on, Mike. It's 4 30 in the afternoon. Well, you know what I mean. We're just taking a short break. Sergeant Green. Please drop the donuts and just do your job. All right, all right. Let's go. So if I remember, it's right around the corner. You ready to make your first arrest for the Mango Park Police Department? How do you know we're gonna arrest him? We haven't even talked to him yet. Oh, come on, Mark, you heard the radio call. The suspect's black, loitering. What more do you need to know? I don't know, maybe he's innocent. <laughs> well, whatever, all right, Mark. Hello, young man. Hey, officers. Um, we got a complaint about someone fitting your description loitering around here. Oh, really? No complaints around here. I'm just waiting on my friend. Do you have any ID on you? Uh, yes, yeah, sure. So tell me, Mr. James Washington, what are you doing here today? Well, officer, me and my friend are going to a game and I'm just waiting for him to pick me up. Well, I highly doubt today that you'll be seeing a game. Wait, what do you mean? You heard what I said. Officer, I didn't do anything wrong. I'm just waiting for my friend. See that sign over there? Can you read it? Loitering? Really, officer? Mark, you got your handcuffs out? Yes, sir. What? Please handcuff this man. Wait, what, what are you doing? Stay still. Stay still. Get down on one knee. Get down. Get down. Down. All the way down. All the way down. Don't make this any harder on yourself, boy. Get up. Go get that rope over there. So help me tie him up. With the rope? Yes, with this rope. I don't want to take any chances with this guy. But we have him in handcuffs already. So what? I don't he might try to resist again. Come on, just do what I say. Wrap your in, sorry. Oh my god. What are you doing? Alright, we got him, sir. We're heading back to the station. Come on! Come on, boy. Captain?
What the hell is going on here? We apprehended the suspect and we were walking him back to the police station. What? Are, are you kidding me? What, is he some, some type of animal that you can rope and display as you drag him down the street through the, to the station? Well, he was resisting and we thought that it was best we tie him up so he couldn't run again. I didn't think it was any big deal. You didn't think that this was a big deal? What is this, Mississippi in the 1840s? There is absolutely no justification for dragging anybody through the street like this. What? I'm curious, what did you arrest him for anyways? For, for loitering. 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 So you feel that his loitering, which is a laughable offense by the way, is enough excuse for you to rope him and, 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 and parade him through the street? Sir, I was just waiting for my friend to go to a game. I was just standing there. Sergeant Green, is, is that true? No, he's lying, sir. That's not the truth. As I said before, he was, uh, he was loitering and acting suspicious. Sergeant Green, unfortunately for you, I don't believe a word that you're saying right now. Officer Lebowski, how about you tell me what happened here today? And do you believe that your and Sergeant Green's actions were justifiable? Probably not, sir. Mm. Just as I figured. Now I want the two of you to listen to me very carefully. Yes, Captain. I want you to untie him and take those handcuffs off him right now. Yes, sir. Now, I want both of you to apologize to him. I am very sorry, sir. I'm sorry. Officer Lebowski, I want you to take that rope and I want you to tie up Sergeant Green the same way you tied up this young man. No way, you can't do that. Oh, yes I can. Sergeant Lebowski, do as I say now. No, no way, don't do this. Sergeant Green, What's the matter? It's not a big deal. Those were your words, remember? All right, Officer Lebowski. Now I want you to stand five feet behind him. Hold that. Wait. Why me? Is this really necessary? Yes, and I'm going to tell you why. I don't believe that the two of you can fathom what you put this young man through unless you experience it for yourselves. That's what... But where to? Well, where were you going to take this young man to earlier? To the police station. And that's exactly where we're headed. Let's go, boys. Hey, what's your name? James. That's my name, too. Have a good time at the game. Apologize about what happened to you. Thank you, sir.